What's going on guys, BGG Crypto here. If you like crypto mining, if you like crypto, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, leave us a comment below. In today's video, we are going to be setting up this BTC D37 server style motherboard. Um, we're gonna be throwing, basically, we're gonna be getting rid of this motherboard here, throwing most of these GPUs on that, throwing some of the AMD stuff onto this CPU miner and basically that's about it we're gonna you know that way we have an eight card rig this one's not being very stable and so on and we're gonna repurpose that motherboard somewhere else into a home pc for my son so we're gonna get that going so stick with us on this setup all right guys so here's the motherboard basically this guy comes with cpu in here and ram uh four gigabytes i believe for the ram you got our ssd here inside ssd we're gonna pull this guy out right now we're gonna get this thing attached to the computer and put a fresh hive on it with our config file and all that good stuff so let's get this thing taken off of here so we can get it all set up and there we go all set we're gonna get this thing attached and set up so let's jump over to the computer real quick all right guys so we're over at the computer we plugged in that inside a ssd drive so we're just gonna open it up here and you can see there it is hive right there um i was gonna redo it but i think i'm just gonna leave it in if i want to update hive i'll just do it through the um hive shell command and do it that way so what we will do though is we will get rid of this rig config file just delete that and then we will set up a new rig on hive and add that to here so let's do that so what we're going to want to do is go to the farm here hit the plus add worker add rigs um connect existing because we just want the rig config file uh, and here we go so you can download the rig config file here so let's do that downloading so once that downloads basically all we are going to do is go to our downloads we're gonna grab rig config file oh grab it and we're gonna move it over to hive and check and there it is all right we got rig config file on there so we are gonna take this thing off and go put it back on that motherboard and we're gonna start getting everything all plugged in and set up so we can get her fired up so let's jump over there. All right, so we're gonna get that inside of SSD thrown back in there. Just pop it in there right like that. And then make sure you get it all screwed in there. Perfect, so that's all set up. Now we're gonna jump over and take up all those hanging GPUs down and kind of sort them out and figure out what we're gonna throw on this motherboard. So stick with us for one second. All right, guys, so we got the rack emptied out. Uh, no more GPUs there, cleared everything out. We got the server power supply back there plugged in and we got our uh, server style motherboard here. Um, so there's all the GPUs down there. Um, we're probably gonna hook up these four NVIDIA cards to the um, to the server style motherboard and then these four AMD cards will go on to um, as well as those two cards in these boxes will go on to this CPU build here and complete that rig um, but for now we'll just go with the uh, the server motherboard finish that up and get that all plugged up and make sure that's all running good so let's get these gpus all in there 
All right, so we're just gonna slide these in and pay attention guys. You gotta watch out for this little flange. See how that sits below there. When you drop them in the back, this board has to be elevated off or else this will wanna hit the ground and it won't wanna, you know, or the shelf or whatever, and it won't wanna slide all the way in, you know, so it'll hit. So you gotta raise this up. So once you slot it in, this, you know, that right there does not touch the actual shelf so make sure you get that all sorted out because you will not really know what's going on if you don't catch it we're just gonna slide these cards right in skipping ever every other slot for us to give them some airflow so they could breathe there you go guys so basically now we're gonna get all our PCIe cables get them plugged into the server power supply and then we are going to start you know plugging everything into the motherboard so what you're gonna want to do is each of these slots is numbered one two three four all the way to eight and same with you know these all these six pins in the front you're gonna run run power from the power supply to these slots for the corresponding cards and then you're going to want to run basically power from these guys here from the corresponding gpus up to the actual gpu whatever's in that slot they're all numbered and matching and the pcie lanes are numbered as well so make sure you guys get that all handled and matching and so on we're gonna turn the camera off and get that all uh, plugged in as it's a timely process so stick with us real fast while we get those things all plugged in all right guys so we got all the PCIe cables plugged in as you can see we're going from server power supply over to corresponding lanes of whatever so we skipped every other one to give them some space for airflow because we're not you know we don't have enough cards to fill this one up yet so we skipped every other one they're all numbered so make sure you you know start on the one you start with and so on same with over here we got power going from these six pins here up to each card and those are all numbered as well for each card so that's all good we are going to go grab a ether or not ethernet cable we already got ethernet plugged in we are going to go grab an hdmi cable get this thing hooked up to a monitor real quick so we can fire this thing up and get going all right so we got hdmi hooked up to monitor there so let's get this thing fired up and see if it thing will go into hive so here we go we have power so that's first good sign. No smoke as Red Panda would say. He would do a little sniff test. <laughs> Nothing. And there we go. So far so good. Awesome. So let's go jump over on the computer and see what we can find in Hive OS. Alright guys, so we are now on Hive and look at that. The rig is up. It is online no flight sheet so basically you're just going to click on this guy go to flight sheets now you're going to need to make a new flight sheet if you know if you don't have one already we already have one so we're going to just send this guy off you know and there you go if you were going to do a new flight sheet you could just uh you know go to your farm go to flight sheets and this is how you add a new flight sheet. You pick your coin. We would be doing ETH. Um, oops. ETH. Click on that. Wallet. And you'd have to make a wallet as well. Um, you know, you can go to wallets, create a new wallet. That's just putting your address in and all that stuff. You'll pick your pool. Uh, we use Ethermine. And then you would pick basically your closest um, 
one to you, server to you, and then you pick your minor. And right now we are using in B minor and then create flight sheet and you would be all done. Um, but yeah, that's basically about it. Let's go back over here to the rig, see how it's going. We sent it off. It's maybe restarting here. So let's just see what's going on. Overview. Setting the pipe. Config change 57 seconds ago. All right, so we're just going to wait for it to get start mining and so on. So let's just hang on here real quick. It takes a few minutes. All right, guys, and there we go. We are now up and mining. You can see here we have no overclock set in, so we are going to punch these in. But there you go. That basically is the gist of it. No you should be mining and once you're hashing you can go check your uh, pool to make sure it's connected to the pool and all that stuff but you should be good to go go find some overclocks punch those in, get some you know your wattage down and your mega hashes back up but that's the gist of setting up that uh, BTC D37 motherboard um, super simple um, I love that you don't have to get risers and all that stuff um, so we'll see how stable everything is and so on but other than that, you're up and going. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the likes and leave a comment before you leave. Appreciate you guys watching and we will catch you next time. Peace.